Hey guys, what's up? Lydia here. I have the biggest bun ever right now. It's, it's enormous and I love it. But me and Lydia are going to be talking about the Pyroraptor today, which is a very interesting blaster. And uh, I'm going to go from the front to the back. But first, I want to talk about the shell. Because the shell on this is really interesting and is very paintable and has a lot of really cool details on it. Like this claw down here and the gold on the back and the teeth and stuff like that. It's just... There's a lot going on here, and it may not be the best looking blaster, but I think that this is very paintable and could potentially look really, really good with these feathers and these flames and teeth and skulls. It is a new aesthetic that we haven't really seen before, and I think it's very, very interesting. Lydia agrees. Now, uh, starting at the front, we have orange tip. That comes back into a barrel, and this isn't just a normal barrel. This is actually a sealed breech system, so... It uh, has a pusher that, you know, pushes into an actual breech piece, and that's how it works. Now, the barrel isn't very long, because this is a, you know, not a pro line blaster, but it is there, and it is modifiable as fuck, so definitely look into that. This grip up front, really comfortable, very light prime. This is actually already prime. I lied. Very light prime, super easy to use. This would be great for your kids that are just getting into, you know, Springer style blasters. I think that this would be a wonderful training blaster for somebody who wants to get into higher FPS um, blasters and stuff like this, like like RROs or whatever. I, Talon Claws, this is a bad example. Talon Claws um, or, you know, Springers that are a little bit more heavy duty. This will teach you all the basics on what it is and what it how it feels to operate you know one of these blasters um so yeah it's a super simple blaster to operate everything feels really good you got a buffer tube stock on the back which is nice as well throw your you know longer stocks on there i'm gonna keep this one at the longest setting because i am a small person oh well this is as far as it goes uh, i'll just say that and i i like it it's pretty comfortable the grips on this are really comfortable the trigger pull is nice it is accurate it feels good I don't really have a lot of issues with this blaster. I think the community may not necessarily like it because it just looks really strange, but it has a very interesting pusher system where the plunger tube is actually above the pusher itself and uses an L-style breech to actually push into the sealed breech. Now that allows you to prime the blaster and still manipulate mag use, which is very, very good practice for people that have blasters that use skinny pushers. And I think that's really important because a lot of times when I hand somebody a, you know, talon claw or a similar style blaster and they've never used that before, they will, you know, be messing up and not knowing if their mags are loaded or whatever. So this is a really great practice blaster for that kind of stuff. Now it comes with full lengths. I'm pretty sure this does take half lengths um, without too many issues. There's not a huge performance uh, boost or anything like that, just simply because this is a stock blaster. But I think that this is an interesting pickup, and if you have the extra money and want something fun to paint, this is definitely a blaster for you. It's it's fun to use, it's comfortable, I was able to pick it up immediately. Not only did I not feel intimidated by it, but I was very accurate with it right out of the box. It feels, it feels good, it feels really good. I'd love to throw a spring in here and use this as, you know, a around the neighborhood, around the house, non-super competitive springer. I think that this would be also a good HPZ blaster, simply based on like the fact that it has the FPS um, for HPZ and it takes mags right out of the box. Drops mags really well, a little too well almost. It just drops them right, right, right out, and that's another good thing as well. The mags are cool in their own too. We don't typically see new mag designs, but that's pretty cool looking, I have to say. So. If you are in the market for something very different, but usable not only by you, but maybe your kids and family as well, something that can teach people how to use your higher end and more expensive blasters without breaking them, this might be the thing that you want to pick up. I highly recommend it from a painting standpoint. I cannot wait to open this thing up and you know get all of it masked off and painted, but um, definitely check these out. At least hold it in the store and see if you like this and if you're feeling it, pick it up because it's worth the pick up. And if you're not feeling it, and this may not be for everybody, 
maybe go for something a little bit different. There's a lot of options in this price range right now, which I think is around 25 bucks, and this is just one of the many really cool offerings that Dark Zone is coming out with. If you're a completionist, um, you want to get all the blasters from this specific line, you shouldn't have any problems getting this. I haven't really seen too many thrifting, but like, you know, it's not hard to get, and it's a pretty cool blaster with a really cool name. The Pyroraptor is absolutely sick, and I love the name. So, check out the Pyroraptor. It might not be for you, but if you feel it and you like it, definitely pick it up. I don't think you'll be disappointed with it. And, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Leave me and Lydia a like on this video, comment, tell me what you think of the Pyroraptor, and give me your painting ideas, because I have a couple ideas for what I want to do with mine, but... Maybe one of you can convince me to do something better with it. So definitely leave a like and a comment. Subscribe if you'd like. And uh, check out my Facebook and my Etsy and all of those things. Thanks for watching, guys.